We're live. Tony Ferguson versus Khabib Namagomedov. Control versus, I guess, confusion, chaos. Khabib being the control, Tony being the chaos. See, Tony thrives in cha in chaotic situations. Tony thrives off of the unpredictability of a fight. Even if he's losing the general fight, the unpredictable nature of his offense and defense is um, usually what gets him the win. And Tony is a very accomplished fighter. I mean, he has one of the longest winning streaks in UFC history. He's the interim, he's the interim champ, soon to be undisputed champ. He will walk into the octagon, the undisputed champ. He will face Khabib Nurmagomedov, somebody who is by far the most dominant competitor to ever grace the 155 weight division. Now, fighting styles. Khabib's fighting style is a lot like Kane. His ability to overwhelm people, his ability to just control people, his ground and pound world class. But... Habib has never faced anybody with the grappling accomplishments such as Tony. Tony has, thanks to 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu, he's come up with very unique ways in which he controls people from the bottom of his back. His guard is no joke. So, my question is, is Habib confident enough to not change his strategy? Or is he accomplished enough to walk in there with the same strategy, knowing what Tony's capable of, adapting a few things so that Tony understands that there are levels to this thing, you know? Whereas Tony's grappling talents are of a very high level, maybe Habib's is even higher. Needless to say, whoever wins this fight will be the undisputed 155 champion. I think if Tony Ferguson wins this fight, Conor McGregor is going to come back to the UFC. If Tony Ferguson doesn't, he won't. Conor will not return. Why? Conor has never faced grapplers of that magnitude. Namely, Tony Ferguson or Habib Nurmagomedov. But that's another story for another time. My question is to all you fans out there. Who do you think is going to win? Habib or Tony? Will Habib walk in there, control the whole fight, dominate and just leave their champion? Or will Tony find a hole in Habib's ground and pound? Slap a submission on him and we'll watch Habib tap. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Another fight which is on the same card as Habib and Tony is Rose Namajunas versus Joanna Young. J check the remake the rematch. Um a lot is riding on Joanna winning this, particularly winning this by knockout. Um, nobody expected Joanna to lose the first fight, but she did, you know, and, um, if she loses the second, then, well, clearly we have a new, we have a new, the hottest fighter in the strawweight division will undoubtedly be Rose Namajunas. Can Rose win this a second time? I think she can. I think um, Rose doesn't have to do much to win this fight other than take it to a decision. Because that will be proof enough that Joanna just doesn't have an answer for what Rose brings to the ring. Joanna needs to knock Rose out. Why? That will create speculation for the trilogy and she'll have the title back. Now, let me know what you guys think in the comment section about who you think would win between Tony and Habib and Rose and Joanna.
like comment subscribe and i am out